Hello guys, I have been using SSMS for a long time now, and over the period of time I have realized that it's a very powerful IDE, however, there are lots of hidden features which are less known to lots of developers. In this video, I will be sharing some beneficial tips and tricks which will give you an extra edge in your day-to-day -day work, and in the process take your productivity to the next level. While working on a large SQL script or a stored procedure with long lines of code, it's beneficial to have the line numbers displayed in the query editor. By default, displaying line numbers in SSMS is turned off. This is sometimes frustrating because it makes the navigation between long lines of code tougher. This is one of the hidden features of SSMS and you can enable this feature by navigating to tools and click on options then it open the dialog box. Go to the text editor in left pane and click on general under all languages then there is a checkbox for line numbers on right pane. Once you select the line numbers checkbox, click OK and return to the query editor, you will see that line numbers have been enabled. To generate scripts for your database tables, SQL Server Management Studio provides a handy wizard. You can also use this wizard to generate insert scripts for your tables. Right-click on the database and go to Tasks to generate scripts. Next, you can select the database object you want to script. By default, the wizard allows you to generate scripts for the table schema only. However, if you need to generate insert scripts for your table data, you will need to navigate to the Advanced Scripting Options and choose the Types of Data to Script. For developers running data manipulation scripts, it's always nice to have a visual indication of the environment you are logged in, especially a red color in your SSMS query editor, indicating you to be extra cautious. Personally, I prefer to set the below colors for environments, red for prod, orange for staging, yellow for car, blue for dev and green for local. When you are connecting to a SQL server instance, you will need to click on the options button. Then click on the connection properties tab and you can choose a custom color for your environment. Once you select a color for an environment, every time you log into that SQL Server instance, it will display the same color in the SSMS status bar. Sometimes when you create a database object, SSMS is not able to identify the newly created object. This is because of a simple reason that the SSMS IntelliSense cache has not been refreshed. In such cases, you can use a simple shortcut. Ctrl plus Shift plus R will update the IntelliSense cache. You can also navigate to the setting by going to edit to IntelliSense to refresh local cache. This is a handy tip and can save your time, where IntelliSense does not function as expected. Instead of typing all column names manually for a table, you can drag them quickly from the object explorer. You can use the same for table name as well. Suppose you wanted to display only those tables that have the character string type in their name. In SQL Server Management Studio to filter your tables, views, stored procedures etc, right click on the object type and select filter to filter settings. To enter that filter criterion you would enter the value, type, under the, value, column for the property, name, and then click on the, OK, button. Here you can see that only the tables that contain the string, type, are displayed. Also note that the, tables, item in the object explorer window now says, filtered, indicating that the list contains only a filtered list of tables. SSMS gives you the ability to comment and uncomment selected text. First select the query's text which you want to comment, then press Ctrl plus K plus C to comment each line out. To uncomment the selected query text, use shortcut key. Ctrl plus K plus U. SSMS has a number of hidden features which might not have been advertised much, but knowing these tips and tricks will make your life so much easier. I would highly recommend you to start using these tips and tricks in your day-to-day -day work and you will realize the increase in your overall productivity and efficiency. Thanks for watching this video. I will try to cover more tips in next video till then stay tuned and hit the like button and subscribe the channel.